Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Scripture Writing Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to get into God's Word and um, the fact that He is risen. Um, Jesus has risen and we are saved and all the uh, emotional things I'm feeling after Easter. Uh, it's it's a great time. It's a great place to be right now. And I'm really in a good place right now. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and, you know, the day after Easter was my mom's birthday on Monday. So that was a lot of fun. And so I'm just kind of riding this wave of happiness. Now do for forgive the nails. I have not gone through and taken off the paint and repainted them. So I do apologize. But I want to go ahead and get this done because I'm running into some technical difficulties and I wanted to get this video recorded so I can get it uploaded before all these other problems started happening. So here I am. We are doing today is the twin. Well, today's the 19th. I'm recording this. The 20th is the day we're working on, which is 2 Corinthians 517. And this is I am a new Christian or a new creation in Christ. And that is uh, about being saved and how he saves us from an eternal death that we don't want anything to do with and that he is the better and he does it with love and compassion. So I'm very excited about that. So we'll be writing, reading that Bible verse um, as far as today's uh, verse of the day in you version. This is what I have. This is a video that goes along with it, but um, that's Romans 13. I'll probably do the Amplified. I haven't got it pulled up for Amplified, but I'll do that one and we'll write that verse. And what else have we got? Um, I think that is it. Um, verse, let's see, verse of the day on the iPad, verse, um, scripture writing and journaling prompt. And then I'll be going ahead and writing out my uh, prayer, praise, and gratitude, and health, and all the things. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started, dive in, and get things written up. I'll play some music, and then I'll come back, and we'll go over what the Lord has to say today. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So things are looking pretty good. I have written down all the things. I have written down my prayers, my praise, my physical health prayer, um, journal prompt, the scripture writing, and all the things. So we're going to go through this and I'm just going to kind of highlight the areas that um, are important for me to highlight. Uh, did I miss anything? I think that's it this up here. Okay, so today's Wednesday, April 20th. Actually, no, it's the 19th, but today's uh, verse and um, scripture writing is for the 20th. It's going up on Wednesday, so if you're doing this with me, 
I really appreciate that and I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, this is a really good one around Easter season. I was going to do one on Easter, but then I was like, no, I need to spend time with my family. I'm just going to keep it on Wednesday. And I hope you had an amazing Easter with your family and your friends and your church if you were able to go or online service. Um, I actually went in person this time. First time in months. Well, second time in months. And um, since the beginning of the year, not because of COVID or anything, but because... Um, Physically, I wasn't healthy enough to go, so things were just not good for me. <laughs> but I am excited to be here, and we're going to read this verse here at the top that comes with the Prayerful Planner. Now, if you don't know, I use a Prayerful Planner. Um, let me find the page or the notebook. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. I hope you decide to subscribe and um, follow along as I do my scripture writing and journaling prompt. But I do use the Prayerful Planner. Um, sorry about the glare of the lights. Um, Prayerful Planner digital version. It's a PDF. Um, you can download it at the GoodNotes or no Notability or any of those PDF writable applications. Or you can print it out on your printer, which is what I did because I need a large sheet of paper to write everything. I have big handwriting and it's sloppy and I have um, pain in my fingers, so it makes it even harder to write. So this is what I use. And then I just use the scripture writing and journaling prompts that is provided every month. Um, you can sign up for an email list for that and they will email it to you or you can kind of go um, to the Facebook group page if you're on Facebook and you can get it from there. But this is what I use for my scripture writing and journaling prompt and this is where it comes from. Right now I'm only doing one a week because that's all I really have available time for. And I do know later this year I might not be able to do as much as I want to because we might move and that will be like in the summer or towards you know july august time frame but i will let you know as time comes up um over here is like the sticker sheet that gets emailed with it it's not a sticker sheet it, you print it on sticker sheet or a sticker label and it's just um picture that you can cut out with your scissors <laughs> so there's that so i like that that has the numbers for the calendar i don't use the calendar i have enough calendars i just use this and then i use once a week daily pages that come out of it and this was the previous week on april 6th and then we also had uh wednesday april 13th and now we're doing um this week's uh, April 20th. So every daily page in the Prayerful Planner gets a verse. And that verse um, goes with the day, goes with the theme of the month, and things like that a lot of the time. So let's see what this one has. This one's Psalm 1, uh, 156. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Absolutely. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everything that has breath. And there's so much that does. You know, the plants, the animals, the humans, <laughs> all of us. We all have breath. Um, plants take in oxygen or take in carbon monoxide, pull out oxygen. That's kind of breathing to me. Um, animals, they inhale and exhale. Uh, humans inhale and exhale. You know, everything that takes breath praise the Lord. And I love that thought. I love that idea. So I'm just going to highlight that because I have read that. And I want to make sure I highlight that. Um, and if you're wondering why this is on here, I also use this for a highlighter for my budgeting. So if you are into budgeting, I have a Lisa's Faith budget plan or budget planning channel. You can go check that out. But right now we are focused on this. So praise. I said, Lord, I thank you for being my savior and including me uh, adopted into your family. I just thought that that was what came to mind when I thought, what can, I, what do I want to praise him? I want to praise him that he adopted me into the family because Lord knows I have not been the best <laughs> daughter in the world. <laughs> I have my sins. I have my difficulties. I have my backsliding and then uh, selfishness and all the things and uh, I throw my fits and tantrums, yet I am still part of the family. I am still his daughter. I, I still repent and come back. And I'm like, I can't believe you keep doing this, Lord. 
I, I just cannot believe that. So I thank you, Lord, for that. <laughs> physical health. I pray for my physical health and eating habits that I struggle with. It's part of the black sliding I was talking about. You know, I'm just trying to, I have type 2 diabetes. I have neuropathy in my hands and feet, um, pain medication. And when I get depressed, when I struggle, when there's problems, guess what? Those are one of the first areas I have problems in. So um, I'm just wanting to lift that up to the Lord that he can help and guide me in that. So that is that over here. Now let's move on to the verse of the day that I was showing you in the beginning uh, for Romans, let's see, 10, 13, which is this verse here. Um, this is the ESV. I actually, did I use the ESV? No, I think I used the Amplified. Yes, I did. All right, so. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord um, in prayer will be saved. And this goes right along with Easter Sunday and all the sermons and all the things that we heard. Um, whoever calls on the Lord, on the name of the Lord in prayer with all their heart, with all their mind, with all their spirit, with all their strength will be saved. That's the only real requirement is to believe and pray. When you pray from the heart, you're saying, I agree and I believe. And that's all there is to it. And I love that. I love that reminder right there. Um, and so that's what I wrote down was the Amplified Version. And then 2 Corinthians 5.17 is the... Um, Hear my prayer, scripture writing, journaling prompt. You may be asking, why do I do this one and then this one? This just gets me in the mindset of writing scripture um, just to have like a practice run. And then what is the God saying in this that has the journaling prompt? This is the ones I'm focusing on the most. But I do appreciate what a verse of the day has for um, scripture writing. I mean, I just... I, you don't have to just write one scripture <laughs> or one part of the Bible or anything like that. You can do several scripture writings um, and verses of the day just to figure out which ones you like the best. So that that's why I kind of do that. And it's good warm up exercise for me. Okay, so here we go. Um, Second Corinthians. I got to find it in my app here. And let me know, do you guys do what I do and have your... Bible directory and your Bible apps, uh, alphabetical or traditional, because um, I have to do alphabetical because I will never find <laughs> the Bible, the uh, book of the Bible I'm looking for, unless I have it in uh, alphabetical order, because one thing I was never able to do was m memorize Old Testament, New Testament, and everything in the order that it happened, well, not in the order, because it's not even put together in the Bible as order as it happened. That's a totally different thing, um, but in the order that they're traditionally put in. Let's see, 2 Corinthians 5 and then 17. Here we go. So I'm going to start with the ESV. I like to read a couple versions. Now the ESV is a little bit shorter than the Amplified that I wrote, so there's a lot more into this. So I'll get to that in a minute, um, but here's the ESV. And uh, let me make sure I'm on the screen here. Therefore, anyone is in Christ. He is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And that is so beautiful. A short, sweet, to the point. And I love this verse. I love hearing it. And when I hear it, I understand it. I totally get it. I totally get it. But for a new believer, they might want a little more information that the Am Amplified has. And if you're a new believer, this is something you can reference um, to. Let's see, I want to go to the NIV, which is the um, New, New International Version, I think. It's one of my other favorites. It says here, therefore, anyone in Christ is in Christ. The new creation has come. The old one has gone. The new is here. That is so celebratory, the way that's written. I love that. It's so fun to hear it in that way. The new creation has come. 
and it is here and um, the old one is gone you are not the same person once that transformation happens and the angels in heaven are singing in celebration over you even if you can't hear them it's amazing so um let's see here amplified the one i used that's a good thing uh I have an iPad so you don't have to read my chicken scratch. Um, the one I use, I like this one. It's very detailed, especially if you need that extra um, information to enhance the reading. And that's what Amplified is all about. It just amplifies the verses. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ that is grafted into or grafted in, joined to him by faith in him as Savior, he is a new create creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition, have passed away. Behold, new things have come, because spiritual awakening brings a new life. Now, that is just so beautiful to me. I mean, you, you get imagery, at least I get imagery when I read it and think of it um, being grafted in. If you know what a bone graft is, you know, where you take slices of one person's bone graft in, uh, uh, that's from one person's body and put it to another person's body to kind of heal their bones and their match and they're compatible. Well, no matter who you are, you can be grafted to Christ and you have this new spiritual awakening. You are joined to him. He's grafted to you. You are grafted to him. And you are a new creature, creator, um, creature. Good Lord, I can't talk today. You are a new creature when that graft happens by faith. Just make sure you know it's by faith in him as savior. He's your savior. You're a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. It's done by the Holy Spirit. Nobody has to be there. You can accept Jesus in your heart right here, right now, as I'm speaking and you're watching this video. And, you know, if you do do something like a contact me, I would love to hear that you've made a decision, a commitment like that. My email address is in the um, uh, description box. So um, you can email me if you don't want to put it all out there on social media in the comments. But I would love to know if this touched you. I would love to hear from you. But if not, and you're already saved, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, the old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition. I like that it put it that way. The previous moral and spiritual condition. Now, does it all disappear? No. <laughs> Those habits that are ingrained from physical, mental, emotional, we fall back into those cycles a lot of time, but that's why we're grafted in Christ. That's why we are reborn spiritually, because spiritually, the Holy Spirit can guide us out of those habits and make new habits. So he's not here to make us feel guilty and shame. He's just here to make us understand that we're new in him and he will get us through this. I mean, that is amazing. So that part of us is gone. It's over. And um, when we fall back into it, we can rely on him and move forward. So that is what they mean by that. And behold, new things have come because spiritual awakening brings new life. We are new creatures. We have new life because the Holy Spirit it's always new and refreshing when we bring the Holy Spirit into our daily life. And, and it's just an amazing sensation, amazing feeling. It almost overwhelmed the senses when you think about it. So that was an awesome thing to write about and think about. And as I was thinking about it, there was a journal prompt. I am a new creation in Christ. I couldn't help it but th be thankful over and over and over again when I was thinking about being a new creation in Christ. I thank him for providing a way in my life that led me back to Christ. I thank him for the people who prayed for me on a daily basis to see my salvation come true. I thanked him for the people in my life that keep me encouraged. 
um, to stay on the path that is set before me by God. I, pr I thank him for all of these things and so much more. But this is what was on my heart when I was writing it. And um, I am so thankful that I am a new creation in Christ. I am thankful that he gave me the opportunity to do that. And that there were people in my life that wanted me to be that. And that people in my life now that keep me in that way. And I, I'm just so thankful for that. <laughs> so um, my prayer this week is, um, Lord, I lift up my husband while he's out to sea. He is currently deployed on a ship. Uh, with the Navy, he is a civilian contractor, um, not active duty, but he is retired Navy. So it was just kind of a continuation of Navy life. And um, there's a lot of things changing and happening, which we're excited about. And um, so he was, I want to keep him mentally and physically healthy while he is gone. So when he comes home for my son's graduate or my son, our son's graduation, um, you know, and I prayed for the Lord to be with my son, um, as he's graduating high school and to be with my other son who's with me at home all the time. And I pray all these things in Jesus name. I was just lifting up my family. I'm so thankful for them. And I'm so glad God is with me on this. Um, yeah, so that is what I've been writing about. And, um, let's go ahead and do the fun stuff. I always save the fun stuff for last um, and use some stickers. So you may have saw in the beginning there were some stickers. And I'm just going to use, I think I might have used this one already. I'm going to use it again because I have several pages where I was testing a printer out. And I'm going to use these stickers and let's see. Washi tape. I have washi tape. <laughs> So I'm going to find something I really like. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the striped purple and blue. I think that's, oh, the wavy. I don't know. I, you know, I'm going to go with my first choice. That's where my eye went first. So this doesn't actually stay closed. Yeah, every time I try to close it, it doesn't stay closed. Oh, well, these are just rings for like a shower curtain, metal rings that I got on Amazon. There we go. I think I fixed it. Um, and I kind of want to do this little um, square box down here at the bottom to kind of differentiate. And I hope this washi works because um, I've had it for a couple years. Okay. So let's kind of turn this this way. So that is it. That is the scripture writing, journaling prompt, and my thoughts for the day. Um, I'm really loving this purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. I figured it was just after Easter. Purple is um, kind of a symbol over the Easter season as well. So I thought I would use that. And I really like how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Have an amazing, blessed day. Bye. Thank you.